In this video, we're going to go through something that is simple, necessary, and for some people endlessly frustrating, particularly on the uh, Studio Press and Genesis framework, and that is to change the footer down here. Okay, perhaps you want to get rid of this Genesis framework and WordPress stuff. Uh, that's what I'll show you. It's really simple. Going into our what we're going to do is we need to add a plugin. It's a free plugin. It's by Studio Press. It's called the Simple Hooks. Genesis Simple Hooks. Here we go. And this gives us the uh, ability not only to change the footer, but the hooks uh, plugin is a really powerful tool uh, for being able to add all sorts of content, functionality, and features in your website. Now, once it's installed, it shows up under the Genesis menu here on the left, and there it is, Simple Hooks. Now, this is the page, and you're probably first time you look at this, you go, well, what on earth do I do with all of this? It goes on and on and on and on and on. If you look carefully, it'll show this is a hook executes immediately before the closing head tag. This hook execute, what it is, is it provides little boxes where you can put code, uh, which includes content, images, uh, functions, um, email subscriber sign up uh, boxes, the whole nine yards, anywhere within the WordPress website. So if you want to create a little ad or a notice or something that shows up above every single page and blog post, you could do that. In, and I'm not going to go through every single one of these uh, hook boxes to show you where you can do what. We'll do the footer uh, as an example here. But you should be aware of the simple hooks because it can be a really, really powerful uh, and a nice way to manage your website if you want to have certain features or content uh, displayed throughout your website. The footer is way down to the bottom here. Okay. Here it is. Sometimes it takes me a little bit to find this. Genesis footer hook right there. What you want to do is you need to unhook the Genesis do footer. What that does is it pulls it unhooks the default information that's in the footer already here. So this stuff is all by default. And when you click unhook, it's going to now result in a blank footer. Now what you can do here is you can input anything you want in your footer. So you can add a contact form, a home page. Um, let's just do a home page. This will put a little home page link at the bottom. If you want to add uh, short code capability in a hook, you just click this box. If you want to be able to do PHP, you click this box. Uh, we're not doing either of those in here, so we can leave those unclicked. Scroll down, save our changes, and let's take a look at the footer. Scrolling down, here's our new hooter, footer, <laughs> hooter, footer, and that's it. So you can put anything in your uh, footer. You can add, of course, the copyright. You can add home, about, uh, whatever you like. And um, that's how you do it. It's a quick and simple way of, of doing that. If you want to keep that default uh, information in there, you certainly can. Um, I usually take it out. For more WordPress video tutorials, including full video courses on how to build uh, many types of websites, go to b2web.com.